Welcome to Brand Builders TV. Deep dive topics, tools, and resources brought to you by global thought leaders from within the Brand Builders Club. This show gives you access to the strategies that you can use to move forward with ease and flow in every area of your life and business. During Greg's last show in part one, he covered the eight steps of humanity. Today, he's going to go deeper and talk about resilience. Greg is an international speaker, coach, and pioneering entrepreneur. He's on a mission to demonstrate to our governments that social goals can be achieved in alternative ways for the benefit of humanity. During this session, Greg is going to share with us how at a time when the rules of communication have become more complex, all for us all through lockdown, how can your limited daily interactions have a more positive impact? Learn it, model it, and get shit done. Let's go. Hello. Welcome to BBC TV. I'm Greg Garrity, and I'm part of Drive Change for Good. Hope you're having a great day. The weather here is absolutely amazing. So today, I'm going to be talking about resilience, or the that's going to be the umbrella for what I'm talking about what makes us resilient what makes us the people we are why do some people get hit in the face with life's difficulties and carry on and other people fall at the first hurdle and never seem to recover so I'm thinking from my own point of view that a lot of this has to do with my own self-worth my own sense of worth and why is my sense of worth the way it is? I'm not, uh, I'm not someone uh, particularly amazing. So how, so how do we get it? So, so some of us will have been lucky enough to have uh, very supportive parents, uh, parents that get on with each other perhaps, and not only having a supportive uh, family life, but also, um, being able to choose the right friends. I think being able to choose the right friends is a really, really important thing in that if you choose people that you think are similar to you, you will quite often be proven right. But at the same time, if you choose people that you think you ought to like or you want to be like because they're popular or because they're they're the loudest person in class or because they make everyone laugh because they tear other people to pieces you're soon going to find yourself surrounded by people that are not benefiting you you know part of life and i'm going to sound like an old fuddy duddy but part of life is is just constantly growing you know as a child you take that for granted you don't ever think you're going to stop asking why you don't ever think this my life is over uh i have i've got i'm going to have no more new experiences i'm i'm now going to stagnate but as an adult we tend to slide into situations like that when we get jobs that are difficult or when we get relationships that whilst exciting at the start become stifling and neither of you know what to do about it or when you have children uh, who take up all of your time and all of your energy so all you want to do is sleep at night just remember we've got to keep growing don't just hit the tv when you come in at night talk to your partner you know or talk physically talk to someone else don't just text you know i, I come from a generation where we would pick up the phone and we go zzz, 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 and we'd wait for them to answer and we talk nowadays it's too easy if we don't feel like it or we feel a little bit anxious or we're a little bit uncertain about our relationship with somebody we text them and they text back and we text and they text and we pe- blah, blah 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 and we say we've talked to them but we haven't talked to them we've not listened to the nuances in their voice we've not um, ask them another question. You know, if you send, if they send a text that's a bit ambiguous, 
you've got one or two choices. You either take offence or you go, oh, no, that, that, that must have been the right thing. But you don't know. That's your assumption putting on them. So in actual fact, over time, if all you do is talk by text, do you know the person you're talking to? Or do you just know the construct of them in your head? Physical conversation is highly important. If you can't be with someone face to face and see the little muscles twitch in their eyes when they smile or the glint in the eye when they say something a bit risque, how do you know you're communicating? So make sure that when you have friends, when you have people in your support group, family, depending on your age, teachers, um, anybody, make sure you get to have physical conversations. Physical conversation affects a different part of your brain to the element that, that, that is affected when you text. Therefore, it's really important that you do that. Make sure that you recognize your achievements. You know, I, I said something the other day about um, somebody who came to visit saying, saying that they, it was really hard to remember when you did something positive. And, hi Sammy. And, um, actually Sammy suggested that he went away and wrote a list of the nice things he had done for people. Think of 20 things that you've done nicely. He said, buddy, I, I won't be able to think of 20 things. I'll be lucky if I can think of, think of four or five. She said, well, while you've been here, you've discussed four or five. So go away and add the rest. And that might be something you guys, again, want to do. Seriously, think if, if any of you are struggling with your sense of worth or wondering how amazing you really are, sit down and work out all the nice things. Do 10. 10 nice things you've done for other people. There's no time limit. It's not today. It's not this week. It's not this month. But just 10 things you've done for other people. And then enjoy it. Relish it. Relish it. Today, I was talking to somebody and... They're not necessarily my favourite person. And I was going to brush them off. And I thought, you know what? I have a chance here to actually do what I say on the tin. And I dug into the conversation. And within five, ten minutes, we're both laughing. It makes a difference. Your attitude makes a difference. I came away from that conversation feeling good. He went away from the conversation feeling good. We'd had a laugh. We'd made a bridge. It's much better to make a bridge than it is to, to break it. So remember, your achievements. Always keep them high. We have a tendency as British to go, oh, no, yeah, it, it was nothing. It was nothing. It was nothing. And, But it was something. And the sooner we get the idea that every little something makes up to a big something that we can call on emotionally when it hits the fan. It's a good skill to have. One of the things you need to be able to do in everyday life is call on support when you need it. We get, we get taught as children, even as adults, being resilient means you stand up for yourself. You face your own problems. You deal with them. That's that. But it's not, is it? We're all smarter than that now. <clears throat> I'm sure there are a lot of people. Hi, Lubna. Good to see you. Um, we just don't do it. You know, in the 80s, everyone thought they were Rambo. In the 70s, everyone... Oh, oh, blokes. In the 70s and 60s, everyone thought they were Clint Eastwood. It's the, it's the male role model is to go around tight-lipped, don't say anything, get the job sorted. 
But we're not like that. Guys sit with guys and talk rubbish for hours. And during that rubbish talk, they also talk about their emotions. They also talk about how to handle different situations. And the bottom line is, you know, really guys, if you've got a partner, talk to your partner. And if you're somebody's partner who doesn't talk, then be receptive. Don't take the mick. It's easy to take the mick at first, especially if someone's opening up for the first time. You're like, oh my God, never. You've never spoken to before. What's up with you? You're going soft. Meh. Wrong way to do it. If someone opens up to you at any point, accept what they're saying, allow them to say it, then discuss it. Then when it's been discussed, you can take the mic. People have got to have a safe zone. People have got to be able to, to get the support when they need it most. For those of you that have had to go through isolation by yourselves or that live alone or whatever, guys, you are part of a network with Brand Builders TV where you can reach out to any of us and we will give you the support that you need. If we cannot physically or verbally address the situation, we will put you in touch with someone who can. Okay? So ask for it if you need it. There's going to be no judgment at all. So please, we, ha we are your support. We are your support. Lubnik, you're absolutely right. It is so important as to whether or not you can rely on someone else for support. You don't feel so alone. You know, even... In, in the army, even the most highly trained operatives are never on their own in that they have backup to some degree somewhere else. They have support, whether it's a radio call away or whether it's um, a time frame away. They're never totally isolated. Plans are put in place to support each other. And that's what you guys need to know. There is no, there is no reason to be on your own. It's fine to be an individual. We all like to be individual. You know, I like to be on my own and grumpy sometimes. Sammy likes to be on her own never. And always talking. No. Um we all have we all have different aspects, but it's fine to be an individual. But you can only be an individual by reflecting off others. So if nine people are standing on the left and you decide to stand on the right because you want to be different, that's fine. But if those nine people weren't there, you'd just be normal. So individual's good, but it only works as part of a group. So get the support you need. It's been particularly important this week because of the fact that it's been Suicide Prevention Week. I mean, oh my goodness, what, what do we have to do? to stop the fact that we actually have to have a week that is to talk about suicide prevention. How many unhappy people are there in the world? How many stressed people are there, are there in the world? Let me tell you something, and I, I can't remember the exact stats because I'm, I'm not a maths head, but the rates of suicide went up quite highly in the stats that are available up until April. So suicide rates had already gone up pre-lockdown. It's, it's phenomenal to know. I mean, who's, we're just not going to know what, what's happened during lockdown until the rates are collated next year. But honestly, you don't have to do anything like that. Nothing is so serious that you have to take your own life it feels like it i know i've been there but you don't have to so remember always talk share use it as a mantra talk share talk share talk share 
anybody, whether they're a relation, whether they're a friend, whether they're someone you know, sometimes talking to the people closest to you is the hardest thing because they are part of the problem. So if you know somebody who's, who, who, who you've, you, you, maybe, maybe, maybe you know them, just know them from the pub. They may be the ideal person just to talk to for that one time, just to release the pressure in the pressure cooker and allow you to get through that particular period of your life. Don't dismiss anybody as a potential source of support. If it's hitting you this hard, reach out to anybody. Please. I'm always here. You can contact me on Messenger. You can contact me on Facebook. You can contact me on my Drive Change for Good page. If it's that bad, contact me. Unfortunately, for all the people out there, as I've just been, trying to support people in that situation, there are going to be losses. Losses that we don't expect. Losses that we really don't want. But when we get them, we've got to work with them. You know, people see loss as a negative experience and when it comes to death that's highly emotive because obviously it usually is a negative experience but beyond the circumstances of the death you have to look at the loss in a different way you know we've been conditioned to expect a certain almost a chain of events to happen during our lifetime. So we have birth, school, college, university maybe, depending on your background, or work. Work, 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 marriage. Work, 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 retire, old age, get sick, housebound, die. People have done that for hundreds of years. But wait a minute, are we not getting smarter? Are we not getting more self-aware? Are we not in the best position we could be in our entire lives? Yes, we are. So, change. Relax into your life. If you're sitting there watching that going, holy shit, I don't know if I've got a job in, in, in two months and I've got to feed the kids and Christmas is coming up and blah, 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 blah. Relax into that for half an hour. Instead of putting it to the back of your mind, which is what most of us do. Yeah? It's like, oh, I've got this issue. I've got this. No, I can't get on with that. I've, I, can't, I can't even think about that. Got to, got to move forward. Got to be striving forward. Five, forward, forward. Allow yourself, get yourself a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. Sit down by yourself and say, what's the worst thing that can happen? And if it's that you lose your job, that you think your partner may look at you and say, hmm, you're not as good as I thought, you lost a job. And the kids are going, dad, dad, or mom, mom, what are we going to do for Christmas? We've got no money. All of those things, allow those things into your head and then continue on that journey further forward further forward take yourself through the other side so it might mean this christmas is a poor christmas as in the kids don't get what they want but they get something put it in perspective you still got a roof over your head you still got food the kids are healthy spend plenty of time telling them how much you love them and you support them. Don't just tell them over and over. Oh, I'm worried about this and I don't think we're going to be able to do that. And I don't think we're going to be able to do that. Because kids don't have anyone to frame that for them. 
when they see their parents being anxious and upset and nervous they start thinking well if mum and dad have got gone no control over what's happening to us we're all gonna die yeah put it in perspective take yourself through that and out the other side after christmas people will be rehiring there's more chance that lockdown conditions are going to be permanently reduced by that time if you've lost your job your benefits will have kicked in you will be living a life it might not be the same life but you will be living and if you go through that in your head as a process your unconscious mind goes okay we're not gonna die we're gonna be okay and it alleviates a lot of the stress it takes the pressure off and it's what you need it's what you need take the pressure off relax into the change that's going to happen because it's going to change whether you like it or not um, and so so roll with it roll with it yeah you think about whoever you've got around you use that time to work with them one of the easiest things to do in highly stressful situations is use a partner or use the kids to vent your frustration so it's like if a bill comes in you can't afford it oh we can't afford that so what why, why have we got that bill well if you had a job we'd be able to pay that yeah, well, if you were out of work instead of looking after the kids, you'd be able to pay that. Ba -da -ba -ba -bam. Those dominoes start falling down. It all starts to go pear-shaped. What you need to do is say, look, I'm going to vent now. We've got this freaking bill. I can't afford it. Rah! And then say, okay, let's sit down, work out what we can do. Because it might just be you've got to bring the people up that you owe the money to and say, right, you know what, right at this time, I can pay you nothing. But in a month, I can pay you a tenner. And in another month, I can pay you another tenner. It'll be what it'll be. Because they're not going to kill you either. They're not going to send velociraptors round to your house to munch you or the kids. No. It's just a stress in your head. It's not real. Yeah? Pay the bill. Don't pay the bill. Your life will not change immediately. So, guys, think about it. Think about it. Think about change. Think about how you can adapt more readily. Think about the things you do now. If you live, because some some people have very regimented lives, don't they? You, you know, you know for a fact that if it's if it's eight o'clock on a Thursday morning, they're doing exactly the same thing they were doing eight o'clock the Thursday morning before. And other people have lives that are a car crash to those planners. You know, they'll have breakfast at. 8 o'clock one day, 10 o'clock the next day, 1.30 on a weekend. Yeah? It doesn't matter. There is no normal. If you've been listening to my 30 Shades of Normal, you'll be getting this fact. There, there, there really is no normal. Your normal is your normal. Lubna's normal's her normal. Hiya, Ruth. Ruth's got a normal as well, but it's not the same as mine. We're all normal. And not normal at the same time so think about how you can train change that's right you're absolutely right Ruth trying to change too much at once will always feel overwhelming so just allow a little bit of leeway into your life you know if life's great for you now if you're if you're one of the the people that has had a really good lockdown because of the way uh, you work or you live and you, you're, you, you've got a job or a business that is sustainable during this time. Don't think you're immune. Change is coming to get you <laughs> at some point. So do the same sort of exercise. Yeah. It's important that you have that flexibility. Otherwise, when change does come, it's going to hit you like a roller coaster. Did I say roller coaster? I meant to say steamroller and squash you flat. 
resilience is working towards the things that could happen in your head it's planning ahead it's being mentally flexible yeah be mentally flexible it's not hard it's not hard it's like it's like going to the uh, the cinema to see go and see a film that you've really been looking forward to and discovering that it's sold out your choice is Ugh, I'm gonna go home and be grumpy or well, there's another film starting in 20 minutes wasn't what I wanted to watch tonight but I'm sure I'm gonna enjoy it and then you go and enjoy it the simple stuff the simple stuff we need to make sure we need, you need, I need, we all need to make sure that the inevitable change is going to be something that's survivable. Because it always is. Short of a cataclysmic event, we're always going to survive. So please, bear that in mind. If you are struggling at the moment, you might be receptive to some of this. You might, might be receptive to none of it. But please, reach out. Remember, talk, share, talk, share. Reach out to anybody in this group, any of the speakers in this group, and we will pass you to somebody who can help you totally if we can't help you ourselves. Okay, so... Last thing I'm going to say, I said it last night, I'll say it again. Change is inevitable, so get good at it. All right. You've got, as Ruth just, <laughs> Ruth just said exactly the same thing. Change is inevitable. We have to be mentally and emotionally agile to absorb change and to continue to thrive. You're so right, Ruth. You are so right. I hope you've enjoyed it today. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to leave comments, I will answer them accordingly. Have a wonderful day and take care of yourselves. I hope that you've enjoyed the show today as much as we've enjoyed making it for you. If you've got anything out of this episode, please do tell someone else how they can subscribe to the Brand Builders TV channel at youtube.com forward slash Brand Builders TV. Why not join us at our next Brand Builders Thinkubator, a global mastermind that we run every week to take away the loneliness of being in business on your own. For more information and to book your place, visit light.brandbuilders.club forward slash thinkubator. That's light.brandbuilders.club forward slash thinkubator. Until next time, be the ripple that you wish to see in the world and we'll see you soon.